Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this session I am going to talk about one of the interesting announcements from Power BI and Microsoft team. During this session I am going to talk about how you can analyze your own personal activities in Microsoft Teams with Power BI. So let's explore this feature in detail. One more important announcement, I have launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So do follow me on my Instagram. The Insta ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. So without wasting much time, let's get started and explore this feature in detail with me. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened Microsoft Teams. Now we want to add our own personal activity report within the Teams with Power BI. So we need to follow some of the steps. So let's get started with that. The very first step is that you need to install the Power BI app. For that click on this ellipsis and search for Power BI. If you already installed that you can skip this step. I am just clicking on Power BI and I am just clicking on add. So that will add my Power BI application within the Teams. Now the second step is that you need to click on this create icon and it will open this type of layout. From here you simply need to click on analyze your Teams data. Once you click on that it will generate one out of the box Power BI report with all your Teams activity. And here we are. The report has been generated successfully. The generated Power BI report has three tabs my activity, team activity and team activity details. And over here in my activity you are able to see one slicer with the selection of last 90 days, last 7 days, 14 days and 31 days. So now let's explore what insights we are getting on each individual Power BI report page. The very first page is my activity page. This is the page which will help you to understand the insights of your meeting summary, meeting activity summary and messaging summary. So basically it is something which will provide you the information on how many meetings you have participated in, how many meetings you organized and how many one to one call you have done. Then it will also provide the information on how long you share your audio, how long you share your video and how long you share your screen. Also it will provide you the information on chat messages which you sent, channel post that you did and channel replies information as well. This information is also available in form of graphical manner as well over here. The second page is team activity page. Basically this will provide an information that how many team you are a part of a member and it will show the summary information over here. Also this is a drill down report. So it will redirect you to the third tab which is team activity details page. So let's say for an example I just wanted to see the detail insights over here. So I will just click on drill through and it will redirecting me to team activity detail drill through. So you will be automatically redirected over here and you will be able to see the detail insight over here. Now the question arise in your mind that yes we have generated this report but where did this report is actually being saved into Power BI? Let's talk about that. For that just open up your powerbi.com using app.powerbi.com and once you open that just go to the my workspace and search for teams activity analysis and here you can find a report teams activity analysis. Just click on that. And you are able to see the same report over here. So this is how we can easily create our teams activity report within the Power BI. Also at this moment this report is available only in the English language. Microsoft is planning to add more languages in upcoming future. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading new videos related to Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you will never miss any updates 
from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy or training, here is the website. Click on that. It will redirect you to this page. Go to the contact page and connect me over there. If you are interested to follow me on all my social media handles, here is the URL for drink tree. Click on that. It will redirect you over here. From here, you can follow me on all my social media handles. If you are interested to follow me on my Twitter and Insta handle, here are the links. Just follow me on my Twitter and Insta handle. If you are interested for Instagram learning, click on the Instagram icon. It will redirect you to this page. Over here, you will find the different power platform related short tips and tricks on my Instagram. Here I am uploading different posts, reels and different IGTV content. So make sure that you follow me. The Insta ID is very simple which is power platform guy. Search for that in your search window and you are good to follow me. Also, if you are interested for different audio podcast related power platform, here is the podcast channel. Click on that. It will redirect you to my podcast homepage. You can follow me on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. If you are interested for different short videos related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Dhruvin where I am uploading only short videos related power platform. Subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.